All right, howdy do, ladies and turds. We're about to start the PlayStation 5 showcase here. If you're watching on YouTube, you know, it's gonna begin in about one minute. Uh, hopefully, we're going to see, what is it called? Finally, the PlayStation release date, like when it's coming out, as well as the price, and maybe some new games and stuff, you know. Um, I don't think they're going to show any more stuff for the new Crash Bandicoot 4, because we already pretty much have everything we need to see. Um, maybe we'll see some more games. I don't think we're going to get Silent Hill. I ask every time, but I'm not ready for my heart to get broken again. <laughs> but yeah, let's get right to it. Silent Hill. I don't think it's going to happen, but that would be awesome. But yeah, we were just playing Paper Mario here while um, we waited for this to begin. So I hope everyone's excited. I think, what was it, last month, right? They finally showed um, the PlayStation 5. They revealed what it looked like. People made the memes that it looks like a modem and stuff. You know? <laughs> um, and you can have two different versions. You can have the... Uh, physical version where you can put discs in or the digital like all digi uh, digital where it's only digital games that was like three months ago yeah I don't know when it was it was a while ago but this year has been kind of bootleg so I don't even know what day it is anymore oh is it beginning right on time there we go I say the physical version is probably better because you can you know play backwards compatible games with the physical disc Rather than all digital. Can't really do that, I guess. Alright. That game looks cool. Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow different. That game looks cool too. Ratchet and Clanks looks neat. The new one. That game looks neat. I don't know what the third it was, but it looked like Dead Space. That game looks awesome. This, I'm excited for that too. <laughs> bug snacks! Who could forget bug snacks? <laughs> the cat game looks awesome. I, will be ready. I never really played Hitman, but I hear people like it. Let's do this. And then the Spider-Man. Was it confirmed? Is it a sequel or a DLC? Oh, Abe's Odyssey. Or like the new Abe game. Sandstorm or whatever it's called. Storm. I forgot that was coming out. Like we've been hearing about that for a while, but... We don't know anything yet. Captured on PC, emulating the PlayStation 5 experience. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying that... Are you telling me you can play all this? You can play the PlayStation 5 on the computer, ladies and turds. Tomb Raider? No, that's not Tomb Raider. You all know the target. I don't think it's Final Fantasy. And only the dominant. How do we even know the girl will be among us? Our kind do not question orders. We follow oh, it is Final Fantasy. It is Chocobo. Sergeant, let's summon their icon. I don't think this is Final Fantasy... Icon? That picked a bloody mouse. 16? Right? Jesus, that guy just died. Our yeah. Our will not relinquish their mother crystal easily. You got the theme song in the background. Is it Final Fantasy 16? You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. Is it actually are they gonna show a new Final Fantasy just like that? I just beat Final Fantasy 9 recently. I am Joshua Shield. Or is this the next like online <gasps> Chocobos! Yeah boy. White Chocobo. Oh, this I think this is the next Final Fantasy. They're bringing back that whole um Noctis style battle with the teleporting. Oh, those gutless turds. It also looks like they're bringing back the whole medieval thing. Like going back to, um. They're going back to the thing. It's always the crystal. It looks like they're going back to medieval times. I can hear the fanfare. You hear it in the background? I think it's Final Fantasy. It has to be Final Fantasy 16. This looks like a single player kind of thing. I'm not seeing any, um... That... I was gonna say, I don't think that's, um... 
Oh my god. I don't think that's Cecil, so I don't think this is a remake of Final Fantasy IV. <laughs> Oh my god, what the turtle was that? <laughs> He's a phoenix, guys! <laughs> what the turtle was that? What was the guy's name from Fantastic Four? That's impossible. Ifrit? Oh my god, that is cool. The legacy of has shaped our history. What is that fat thing? I'm guessing that Shiva, that's um the Titan. I still need to play Final Fantasy 15. I really want to. I'll kill you. If it's the last thing I do. So yeah, so they're bringing back the boy band. Final Fantasy 16. What the turd? What the turd? I was not expecting that. And it's got the whole exclusive. Oh my lord, the logo looks like Final Fantasy 10. It's got like the like the purple and the yellow going on. Oh, I was not expecting that. Well, be. What a lovely way to start. That's cool. I like that they're bringing it back to the medieval times too. Oh yeah, PC of course. <laughs> Emulated on the PC. That looks cool. I like the chocobo. Different color chocobo, so there's probably gonna you know they're probably gonna have different powers too. All Cinemax gameplay you see from the point forward is shown on the PlayStation 5. Right? That's awesome. I was not expecting that. Oh, Spider-Man. Wait, does anyone know? This was a sequel, right? Not a DLC? I hear it's a good one. I want to try it. The Spider-Man game. Oh, and it's Christmas too. I always like the snow level kind of games. Or like themed levels. It's really pretty. Come on, we're gonna be late. Uh, hey, <laughs> dude, I am so filling your suit with snow. Are you still wearing your suit? Yeah, you know, just in case. I heard that the um. It's gonna be fine. The sections without. Uh. Oh, it goes right into gameplay. That's cool. I hear the parts without Spider-Man, the one where you play like as Mary Jane, I think, right? That's her name. I hear those are kind of bootleg. I'll have to try it myself, but... The movie was cool. I really liked the, uh, the animated one, Spider-Verse or whatever it's called. That was like, that was magical. She's been a teacher my whole life. Similar skill sets, right? Rallying people, educating them, making sure they don't throw things at each other. <laughs> I still want to replay Spider-Man 2, though. That's the one I grew up on. I'm Brian creative director at Insomniac Games. We're excited to show you this first look at gameplay from Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Our story picks up one year after the events of the first game, and we find Miles' new home. <laughs> people, people are going to say the same thing Miles again. Mom, Rio Morales leads an election rally. A war between the devious energy corporation Roxxon and the underground. They're gonna say the people are also CG generated, like the other PlayStation thing. Captured on PlayStation 5 hardware, the underground attacks Roxxon, sending the rally into chaos in a fight that spills onto the Braithwaite Bridge, where the underground tries to steal Roxxon's experimental like that was like a theory. New form. It was that the other uh, people were? Let's not shoot each other, all right? What the third is that? Purple lady? Oh jeez, something's lucky. We're after the new form. 
Ignore everything else. Uh, that looks like uh, Dr. Octavio, like his, you know, the little arm things. I don't know if that's supposed to be a reference to him. Get rid of him. Then grab as much as you can carry. The turd? Spider Man has electric superpowers? What the turd is that? When did that happen? Guessing now he has some more random weird superpower. <clears throat> Keep him busy. <laughs> He's back. It's cool that it goes right into gameplay like that. I have to stop this. Yeah, when the turn did he get electric powers? I guess I haven't played the other one, like I said, so I don't really know, but... It says camouflage too, he can go camo? Web shooters. You have to spidey senses. <laughs> Is that a sword? Or like a giant chain? Here goes the neighborhood. I'm guessing that's a side quest or something. Wait, did it? That's cool. I don't know. Like I said, I've never seen Spider-Man with like electric powers, but I don't know if that's that's probably what happened in the first game to explain. Maybe something happened to him, or maybe that's part of his suit. Oh my God! How the turd is he even? He can't hold that up. <laughs> he can't hold up an entire bridge. There's no way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jesus. That is cool though. That is really cool. That's pretty cool. But there's no way he can... What about all the other people? There's like an entire bridge. What about everyone else? I think there'd be more people than that on a bridge right now. Look at all those cars. I've got an idea. They just they just put it together. They can cross. He has electricity. It's, I'm guessing it's explained in the other game, right? I can stop this. Oh, or I guess that's his thing, right? That was in the the Spideyverse thing. I remember. I forgot. I think that was his like special. You know, each Spider-Man has a different thing. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot. The movie is awesome. It's getting a sequel too. Yeah, I was gonna say there's pe cars falling. What if there's someone in there? Like, what about everyone else? So you're just saving this one person. Be great, to all. That looks cool though. Wait, this- wait, did they say it? It's this year? That's cool. Yeah, the- the animated one was awesome. Like, it blew me away. The live-action one was pretty swell, too. The- the one with, um... I don't know what it's called, but the other guy. Oh, it's a launch title? Oh, hopefully we see the thing, then when it's coming out. Is this uh, the Batman? Wasn't it leaked or was it announced? There was like a new Batman coming out. Oh, DLC? Are you sure? Oh! oh! They're actually showing it! 
they're showing the Harry Potter game. They, the, the, I think this was leaked a while ago. Are we finally getting an actual modern Harry Potter like RPG? Oh, this is cool. Oh, the, I want to see gameplay though. It doesn't matter what you think about Harold Potter. If you haven't played the older games, the uh, I actually have them right here. You're missing out. Oh, that's cool. Fun fact. Where is it? Gryffindor. I actually have the uh, on the PC, but I grew up with. Um, I think it was called Sorcerer uh, or Prisoner of Azkaban on the PlayStation 2. Those games are so good. The third is that thing. Oh, I wanna, I wanna play this. I wanna see the gameplay, but. I hope it's an RPG. I hope, like an action RPG. Because they promised, they promised something, and then we got that bootleg mobile looking thing. So this looks like an... I hope it's not bootleg. Oh, the troll is back! I don't know what the that is. The dragon? What is it called though? The choices you make now. Can you imagine making a series as huge and impactful? It better not be a mobile bootleg game. Hogwarts Legacy. It looks, if the gameplay is like that, then it looks like a proper RPG. It better not be a bootleg, you know, mobile like. I don't think they would do that. You know. That looks cool. That does look cool. Like I said, I want to see gameplay because the the other Harry Potter games, like the original ones, they are magical. Haha, <laughs> pun intended. Like they're really Hi, good. Everyone. I'm Dan Vondrak, creative director at Raven. One of our goals as developers is to bring the game world to life unlike anything <laughs> they've done it before. <laughs> and the PlayStation 5 is making that happen. They've bootlegged the power of the new console, uh, we've been the able thing to significantly before. enhance the overall experience. From what you see in the world, how it feels in your hands, to what you hear me? around you. In I'm trying to look at the, uh, you will be transported oh, to your we'll call a booty. In the middle of one of the most dangerous times the world has ever known. They bootlegged this before, the Cold War. where people are expecting the something, like Harold Potter, and then we just got this bootleg mobile given the name announcement. It's like, what the hell was that? Hostage crisis. But in true Black Ops style, nothing is as it seems. Didn't this Take game already look. come out? I saw, I saw a category on Twitch. I thought people were already playing it or something. Is out of the picture. How long before we get Farage? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. I'm like Slovakia is around here somewhere. <laughs> uh oh, what's happening? Audio bootlegged a little. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. I mean, this looks real nice, at least. Like, I like the amount of details flying by right now. Which, <laughs> there's been memes. When Microsoft showed the new Halo, it looks like, you know, an original Xbox or Xbox 360 game, of course. And then they had to delay it to, you know, fix some things. And I'm guessing, you know, to make it actually look like a next-gen console game. You know? Which is kind of funny. But yeah, I thought this was already out. The next Call of Booty game. Because I saw a thing, like, on Twitch, the categories. <laughs> this could be the next Metal Gear or something. <laughs> they released you more times in Skyrim. Oh, I think it's a it's the next Call of Booty, I think, right? I don't think it's a remake or something. 
Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I don't really know anything about Call of Booty. That's our man. Take him out. Couldn't he just shoot him from there? He just Oh, I guess the other guy shot the <laughs> Really? No scope, he just no scoped that guy. <laughs> It's the next one, but they're all the same. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's kind of cool. You can hold him hostage. What the turd? He just, did you see that? He just bootlegged him. Attached a grenade onto him and just threw him into the thing. Oh my god. This music reminds me of something. This music reminds me of like a horror game or something. I'm trying to think. I've heard this somewhere. Mad Max, I think. The Komodo Warrior. I've heard this. <laughs> this song sounds like. You just need the drums now. <laughs> oh, jeez. They're bringing. It's not the spider from, you know, Torak Evolution. But they got the little vehicle. Oh, you know what that means. Uh, Home Alone. What was, what was the bootleg one? Was it number four or five? Where they had the little car. That one was weird. That one made me angry in the toddler days. I mean, this isn't Home Alone. Was it three? That one was weird. With the lady. Like that one lady from, I think, wasn't she in uh, 1000 or 101 Dalmatian? There's a new actor too. It was just weird though. It was, it felt weird. Jesus. <laughs> just reading part of the plan. <laughs> Did you hear him? Was that Tom Cruise? <laughs> Cold War. There you go. Was there ever a Rambo game? It kind of reminds me of Rambo. We hope you enjoyed that sneak peek at the campaign for Black Ops Cold War. There are many more twists and turns along the way as you begin to unravel the truth, and we can't wait for you to play it soon. In addition to the story campaign, Cold War features the next generation of multiplayer online combat and an all-new awesome zombies <laughs> experience. Today, new zombies. I have a special honor to announce on behalf of my friends at Treyarch. That the PlayStation they community say doesn't zombies. have to wait to play multiplayer. Starting this Friday, PlayStation players will be able to play the multiplayer alpha exclusively on PlayStation 4. And for those of you that are watching <laughs> at home on your PS4, you can preload the experience starting Normal tomorrow. Normal free fee Can't required to, to access in Germany and, and Japan. Weekend. Enjoy the rest of the show. That's kind of cool. We can play it, you know, tomorrow on PlayStation 4. <clears throat> Rambo and James Bond. <laughs> Rambo's pretty cool. I like Rocky more though. But yeah, I don't I don't know. We have like a few call of booties. I don't know if Shiffy D got those. Is this I'm just gonna wing it. Is this oh, Resident man. Evil? Oh, move. That doesn't look like Resident Evil. They Chris, announced it before. What the hell? Take it's, him away. Take him away. He just turned off. I'm like, what happened? Oh, it is. Oh, I was right. At least I think so. It's Capcom. Yeah. Resident Evil 8, right? And in death, we give glory. I still want to play the 7. Tolls for us all. I really want to try it in VR. They're I want to poop myself. Again. <laughs> that reminds me of the... Nobody's seen it. Maybe Phil remembers. Probably hasn't seen it either. In Slovakia there's like a Christmas... Werewolves. Yeah. There's like a Christmas... Um, being so paranoid. Christmas show or movie in Slovakia. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother Reminds me of the old hag. Who was hard you keep saying that bootleg. I still want to try it. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. 
pretty much half like that. Like, what is bear. this? <laughs> I wish that was a game. That looks cool. <laughs> yeah, the granny, witch granny with the house, forest house. It was like a chicken leg. Over vine, under branch. And into the forest deep. Uh, Half Life Alex was a horror game. <laughs> that was one of the best experiences I've had playing a game. It was awesome. More cults, of course. It's I'm, just a local tale. I'm also surprised there's so many Resident Evils. You know, like we just got Resident Evil 2 remake, number three, right? Wasn't the fourth one? Announced that it was being remade. And then, you know, 8. I really like how they did that. The reveal last year. Was it last year? Whenever it was. That reveal was so cool. I was like, Village? What the third is this? That's a weird name. And then they show the 8. It's like, oh, it is Resident if Evil. It's just window shop away. 2021. There's a lot of Resident Evil games though. Like I said, they recently like remade or coming out. I guess they really want people to get hyped. If only Silent Hill, you know, had the same fate. This looks cool. This looks interesting. Are we gonna learn about the lady now? Or like if it's a multiplayer mode or something? I think last time they showed there was an assassin, but he was being hunted by like a lady. You gotta learn how it works. The Resident Evil games, and good stuff. And each visionary is a <laughs> I don't know the guy's name, but you gotta have the rock punching, of course. Here's Igor. From I think I it was number five. Scientist. I've done so many loops, I've learned to run circles around him. Yeah, this game looks interesting. Hey, over here. Every time you die, I think it like restarts or like loops or something or something happens. Also, kind of reminds me of um, Time Splitters. Jesus, <laughs> it sounded. I am trying to focus, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god! I've tried taking my target. And the animations kind of remind me of James Bond. I can remember, but there is never enough time. I go after one, another lives. Because right now, half an island away, a different visionary is throwing his nightly cannibal mask around. I like those little animations. Alexis Dorsey. Dorsey. Everybody shut up! This is my jam. Igor's a big fan, yet somehow he never makes it to the party. Something keeps him home. Cold? You there, buddy? Here's the invite to the party. And here's why Igor blew it off. <laughs> I want to see more bunch kind of snakes. scientific breakthrough that morning. Hopefully, you can hear everything. everything. Sounds normal. Unless I get there first. I just went. Wait, well, what the? Did he just do? Did you see that? How did he reload that gun? I don't know if those were nails. He just like dropped them into the thing. No breakthrough. That's kind of cool. No reason for Igor not to drink his disappointment with Alexis. Now I, gotta I like the animations. That kind of reminds me of you, Phil. <laughs> Get the hair and the glasses. The hey guys, it's me. The guy on the left, that guy. I think that is a nail gun. Is he, what is he doing? He's got the force. This also kind of reminded me of, was it We Happy Few, right? I don't know whatever happened to that game though. Like, did it... I think it came out, right? I don't know if it was Swell or if people said it was Bootleg. But it looked cool, like the trailers and stuff. It looked interesting. Eight targets on my list. Every one of them with grand plans for eternal life. To break the loop, I gotta break the rules. Clock's ticking. Little tear. I thought it'd be kind of cool. Kind of like Bioshock or something. It reminded me of that. Oh, there's the lady. Death Lil. Oh, by Bethesda. That looks cool. 
also available. Why does it say exclusive and then down here it says available on PC? That doesn't make any sense. It says PlayStation 5 exclusive in tiny letters. Also available on PC. Why call it an exclusive? It's a, it's on PC too. I guess console exclusive, but still, like, this seems a little weird. I guess that's what you were talking about, Featherhead, with Final Fantasy 16. Another Capcom game? Oh, is this the, uh, that goes the game? What are fates? Yeah, I think it's console. Is that one ghost I game? Life and your mind. I don't think it's. Is it Dante? Oh my god. Didn't you just get. Oh, special edition. I guess it's getting re released. Never mind. I thought it was a different game. I don't think that was Capcom though. Dante. <laughs> Where's MTZ over here? <laughs> Yeah, I guess the re-release then. Probably some stuff added to it or something. I know Shippy T played this on the computer. That was a while ago. I remember he liked it. <laughs> All those... He just stabbed himself. <laughs> what the turtle is that? Oh my lord. Edge lord over here. I'm just gonna kill myself. I think those are like giant flies, right? Or something. And I think Papa's telling me that guy, Edgelord over there, he's got like little animals. Got like a bird, some kind of bear or some turd you can upgrade. There's Panther, it's kinda cool. Naked? What the turd was that? I don't think I want to see that ever again. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That launch. That's nice. That's cute. <laughs> I was expecting uh, Skyrim. <laughs> Come on, at least I have one job. Bring Skyrim to the... You know... Oh, they, they're showing the new Outworld. Yee yeah, boy. I'm pumped for this. I love the Outworld series. It's good stuff. And each game seems to be different. Oh, that guy's back? I'm guessing that's the same guy too. He was in Munch's Odyssey. I'm guessing that's a reference. That's cool. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director of Oh, come on, show me more. <laughs> we're excited to bring you an all new exclusive trailer from the game. Here, our unlikely hero, Abe, finds himself fresh off the map, so cool. freeing his people from Hi the nefarious Something. He thinks Watching the, the PlayStation is over, showcase. Soon it is Welcome only aboard. Just How do you do? Begun. The stakes are higher, the threats are larger, the obstacles are more devious, and it's all made possible by the power of PlayStation 5. Enjoy. Hopefully it's finally like released because this game has been like announced and like talked about for I don't even know how long. Feels like it's been years now. This is cool. This looks really cool. It looks brutal too. Oh, there you go. More brutal. Like all the deaths? Jesus. And explosions and like... And it looks like they're going back to like the original. Kind of like the side-scrolling platformer. You see, like that. I don't think it's gonna be like a 3D platformer like Munch's Odyssey. One day I, I plan to look at the Odyssey games as well. well maybe a video or something, because they're fun. Wait, hey, the hold up? I could go for a sandwich right now. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Oh, they have the little voices too. They're bringing it back. Oh, Soulstorm, there you go. They're bringing it back, the little voices. Hey, Fat Red. Oh, come on, Abe. Come on, Abe. Hey, how you doing, there's my buddy. They're not gonna show the date or release or something? They're not gonna say anything? That's bootleg. 
All we get is little teasers and, you know, trailers, but never a release or coming soon or something. Gregory, your friends are worried about you. They're here with me. Please. What the third is this? Gregory's a weird name. Gregory, I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a glitch. This is a horror game? I don't think it's. I was gonna say portal, but it's not portal. Portal's it's been on such PC. A difficult day for all of us. Why don't you come out? And I don't think it's another Bioshock. It won't happen again. Five Nights at Freddy's? Really? It was just Wait, what? The shirt is this? <laughs> Gregory, be still. Be still, my child. I think she's found us. I think she's found us. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Five Nights at Freddy's hasn't been a thing since like what? Two thousand thirteen? Two thousand fifteen? I had a lot of fun with the original one on the stream. I didn't know like what to do, and people in the chat were actually helpful for once, you know sharing you know tips and we were just having a hoot but then after i tried the other ones too like it just kind of felt like the same thing that was a weird thing to show <laughs> i mean i guess some people are excited good for the guy who made it too at least he's getting cash you know <laughs> everyone would probably do the same thing is this the next uh the demon soul remake or something or Oh, Blue Point. Yeah, I think it is a remake. I still want to try the Shadow of Colossus. The Blue Point company, they're known for their remakes. And they made that too. Oh my lord, this is like the fanciest looking like Dark Souls I've seen. Like, look at all that detail. Like on the, the all those leaves on the ground. I try this. I enjoyed number three. I only played it a little bit though. a lot of shininess. Yeah, you see that? I don't know how well you can see that on the stream, but like... Look at all those little, like, the little particles flying in the air. All those smokes in the background. The the things are moving. Like, the you, it's kind of hard to see, but like, the grass in the corner as you're running around. There's like smoke going on. The shadow, his eyes, all that blue. That looks really cool. I wonder if this will have the multiplayer stuff too. And then the red thing at the bottom, isn't that... I'm guessing that is, right? The multiplayer stuff? Where people can help you or something? I think that's how it works. Where you read that, I think. I think that's how that works, right? I didn't want to kill him. And then this is a boss battle, right? Like when they go into the white. Or I guess maybe just the next area. I always thought it was like the boss or something. Like that white like fog. Oh, it is. Oh, wait. I was going to say. Maybe it was number three. I remember a giant ogre guy. I don't think it was the same guy. I don't think he had wings, but... Look at the little tail. He's got a... what is that? <laughs> you died. 
He had a little flap hanging from his boob. This looks real shiny. Like that looks really shiny. Oh my word. <laughs> Future! I want to see this going on the computer. I want to see how it would look. You know. That looks real shiny. I shall await thy return. <laughs> Let me see. It's going to show the thing. It's going to say it. Where is it? Oh, they didn't even show it. Console ex or PlayStation exclusive, also on PC. <laughs> In the tiny little corner. So, um, that's cool. Pretty much they're showing, there's some new announcements and then there's also showing at least gameplay and stuff from the things they've released or announced before. Oh, is this the uh, the God something game? Oh, never mind. Come on, <laughs> it's Fortnite. I thought it was this one game. I think they announced a while ago. It was like a myth mythical kind of game, and it looked like kind of like Breath of the Wild, like art style. Coming to PlayStation Five at launch. You know, a lot of people are gonna get that, of course. For them Fortnites. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I guess they had to show that, you know, get the kitties excited. This is on PlayStation Plus collection. I'm guessing. I was gonna say backwards compatible. Oh! Actually. I guess it is. There's Monster Hunter. There's Final Fantasy 15. Oh, it says that in the corner. I'm guessing you can play this at launch? From PlayStation 5? I'm guessing these are also going to be backwards compatible, so if you have the disc, maybe? Until Dawn, it's such a good game. Uh, you'll probably play him, hopefully. My name is Kara. My name is Kara. I'm going to try Detroit. I want to see PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 1 games though. That's what would be swell. And it'd be even better if it worked you know, on the disc. Like that would be magical, but... Oh, Last Guardian. That'd be magical. But I don't think it's going to happen, of course. After all we've been Oh, is it real 7 too? Nice. Well, yeah, but not everyone has a swell internet. It can be kind of bootleg sometimes. Plus, you have to, you know, pay for the whole online thing again. Instead of, like, let's say I have, I don't know, uh, Mario Sunshine or Super Mario DS, and I, you know, physical copy, and I want to play it on. Oh, I missed it. What did they say? Start downloading. Like, it'd be cool if you can just have your, you know, physical thing and put it in there. Instead of having to buy it again. I missed what they said. Were those two HMI ports? There's the power button. There's a USB 3.0. At least we saw the back finally. There's a zoom in on all them textures. 
I hope the system comes in black because oh there's the price there you go five hundred dollars and then one hundred dollars less for the ps5 november 19th finally there you go we got the release date there you go so bam shalem the expone was the same price so right you know. thank you all for joining us today and for being part when of is the expone coming journey. out it's your passion as fans of gaming that drives us to deliver a truly new generation of experiences on PS5. From everyone at PlayStation, we appreciate your continued support, and we look forward to you getting your hands on PS5 very soon. To close, let me leave you with one more quick look. One more game? One more Silent Hill? I don't think we're getting it, but I'm never gonna stop. Oh, the mini exponents, 300, the thing. What about the actual normal one? What is that? Monster Hunter? God of War? God of War? A new God of War? Is that a new God of War? I think it is. I hear good things about the last one that came out. I think that is, right? Boy. Wait, Ragnarok? Is coming. Uh. Okay, never mind. I'll buy it at launch. <laughs> well, it's not a launch title, though. Oh, it is. Okay, that's cool. That's neat. I hear, like I said, I hear it's a good one. Hi, BA. You just missed it. I'll upload it on YouTube if you want to rewatch, but... Okay, when is the... Nobody... Let's I'll go. check on my 3DS here. The Xbox Series X. Such a weird name. Really confusing. Uh, let me see. Um, so the Series X? The price is also five hundred dollars, whereas the digital only Xbox Series S is at three hundred dollars. So it's pretty much the same thing as that thing. Both prices are the same. I don't know when the when is the release date. Release date. Oh, hi, BA. Oh, November. <laughs> What's the third? <laughs> this is like the same week. The new X-Bone, or Xbox, whatever it's called, comes out November 10, 2020. When did this? It said November 12, right? Or something? They're coming out the exact same... Like, time. Oh my lord. Well, I'll be... <laughs> like, the same week. This is not good. The virus and junk is still going around. People are gonna, it's gonna be like, wait, when is Black Friday? Isn't that around Black Friday too? Or I think that's by the end of the thing, right? The end of the, uh, I'm fearless. <laughs> November 27 is Black Friday. Okay. Well, there you go. I mean, that looks swell. That Demon Souls or whatever remake, that looks real shiny, real fancy. Um, but yeah, I was really looking forward to playing, you know, PlayStation 3 games or mainly PlayStation 2 games in actual, like, through the HDMI. That would have been neat. But I guess it's not going to happen. Thanks for watching, ladies and turds. Uh, I'll upload this onto YouTube if you want to watch it, if you missed it. Howdy BA came out of nowhere. So yeah, pretty much there's both versions are going to cost the same. You know, the Xbox, the new Xbox and the new PlayStation, both versions, the normal console and the mini or whatever reduced price are going to be cost the same. And they come out around the same time. So there you go. <laughs> and then, you know, in a year or something, they're going to have like the slim version or something come out, of course. 
There you go. You know. And maybe that's going to cost even less. Who knows? Oh, wait. Did they... Am I seeing things? That's a black model, right? Or is that just the shadow? Maybe that's just the shadow. Because that looks kind of gray. That's like a different color. Not sure. But yeah, there you go. I'm glad this wasn't at like, I don't know, 7 a.m. or whenever the turd. I don't remember when the other one was. Or was it like a Nintendo Direct? Was that like 7 a.m.? <laughs> that was bootleg. Thanks for watching, ladies and turds. I'll see you next time. Toodles, everyone. Adios.